Sandy Rios is a conservative radio host, and she was at a conference recently talking about how persecuted Christians are. And then she said this. There is persecution afoot. It's abroad. We know about that. You've heard about some of that. But it's also here. And I want to speak about one part of it quickly. <clears throat> Homosexual marriage is bringing about the tip of the spear of the <clears throat> battle that we're going to face. There are wives, your sisters, your children, who now are going to be forced to go into public restrooms and share them with men dressed like women. Uh, this is an epidemic proportion uh, in gyms, in schools, um, in Massachusetts, where homosexual marriage has been legal for 10 years, the stories would make the hair stand up on the back of your neck. And ladies and gentlemen, the Supreme Court will make a decision on whether homosexual marriage will be the law of the land mm -hmm. in April. And if they do, every single person in this room is going to be forced to make a choice. Mm -hmm. And I'm just telling you, even if you don't want to engage in this battle, you will. And your people will. And you'd better stand. I would recommend that you stop playing it safe. Mm. You know, the Bible says if you can't keep up with men, how will you run with horses? You mm. must prepare <clears throat> for martyrdom. I don't know what it's going to look like, but it's coming. You must prepare for martyrdom because of gay marriage? Because of gay marriage and transgenders and their bathroom use. How sad is she? What a sad human being you are. That's what you think about. That's what keeps you up at night. That's what makes you want to do martyrdom? If we treat gays equally, we might need to do martyrdom. There's something wrong with you if these are your concerns. I'm serious about that. If you, you know, can't uh, acknowledge or accept the fact that transgender bathroom use is their choice, which bathroom they want to go in, as long as, of course, they are transgendered, right? If it's some teenage kids who are just trying to get their rocks off and go into different bathrooms, yeah, that's a problem. We all agree. But if we're talking about real transgender people and they choose the bathroom they want to go in, why, why the fuck do you care? How insecure are you that that's an issue for you? That doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. If you're focused on that over all the other problems in the world, your priorities are beyond fucked up. And these people think they're the most Christian. Well, you know, if you listen to the happy parts of Jesus' message, what, why wouldn't you be out there trying to end poverty and income inequality and war? And all serious issues, disease. Why are you not in third world nations right now helping out kids? Starving children exist, and you're over here talking about transgender bathroom use? Gay marriage is going to make it so that you want to do mar martyrdom. I, it's just, you know what it is, man? It's just so hard for me to wrap my mind around people who think this way. And I'm sure it's hard for her to wrap her mind around the way we think and the way I think. But all we're asking for is treating people equally and treating people kindly. That's all we're asking for. And I thought that was kind of one of the parts of Jesus' message. You know, the idea that because of your thousand-year-old book filled with all types of myths and anti-scientific bullshit, the idea that we take that set of beliefs and we apply them today in the year 2015 in a secular government, that's insanity! All we're asking for is, hey, allow gay people to get married, and oh yeah, they should have the same tax rights under law, social security rights under law, and everything else that goes hand in hand with the contractual relationship of marriage. That's it. But to them, that's an abomination. No, you can't do that. And you heard how, she told you how radical she was right there when she says we need to do martyrdom. Christian Taliban through and through, it's perfectly clear right here. And by the way, everybody who's listening here, if you haven't seen the documentary Jesus Camp, you need to watch it immediately. Jesus Camp is the name of the documentary. It follows a conservative Christian, an evangelical Christian school or camp, and all these young Christian kids from conservative families get together, they gather together, uh, and it is like a Taliban training camp, a Christian Taliban training camp. They pray to a cardboard cutout of George W. Bush and pledge their total uh, con control over to him 
you know, like they used to do in Nazi fucking Germany. Seriously, they will rent our minds out to you. You're our leader. They treat it like it's North Korea or some shit. Seriously. You think I'm doing hyperbole? Watch it. Watch it. Don't take my word for it. Watch it. And, you know, just, uh, they, they view it as like in a warrior mindset. They view it as like, uh, hey, the, the Muslims are winning this battle of who can be more fanatical and who can be more violent. And they say, well, we need to get ahead in that realm, and we need to be teaching our kids these things, and we need to teach them how to be warriors for Christ. So be afraid, man, because these guys, unfortunately, they have too much control in America as it is, and of course, they're fighting to get more control. And the thing that's always been fascinating to me is that as they uh, not only slam secular people and liberal people like us, they also slam Muslim fundamentalists. But then when you go issue by issue, you find out that they actually kind of agree on many, many issues. The only thing they disagree on is obviously which holy book they're talking about and which god they're worshipping.